Before we begin, I would like to personally thank all of you. Between the time of our last video, we have not only reached our first goal of 500 subs to the channel, but we blew past it, sitting at 625 subs as of writing this script. It feels like we are on the fast track of this becoming a career, with a thousand subs feeling like it's just around the corner. None of this would be possible without viewers like you. So as we get into the final part of my first series, I can't wait to see what the future holds for us. Thank you. Man, here we are. After months of work, we finally find ourselves at the last part of our series. After discussing so many topics such as the transition from 2D to 3D with our Sonic heroes and the heartfelt stories of Amy and Gamma, all we are left with is Big the Cat and the final story. So as I get into the final parts of this definitive Sonic Adventure experience, I'd hope that you would take the time to like and subscribe. If we can somehow hit 400 likes on this video, I will release the full cut of all the parts to the series so that you can watch them all in one sitting with the possibility of bonus content throughout the video. So what are you waiting for? Drop that like and let's get into big story in Sonic Adventure. Select your character. Hold on, doggy. We start as what appears to be a star glimmers as it falls from the sky. The camera settles on Big. I like how you can see Big's upgrade underneath his bed already. He just likes it. He, he likes keeping it there as a nightlight. The nightlight not being enough for Froggy goes off to find out what had crashed only to be infested by a part of chaos. Big waking up is confused by his friend's new appearance as Froggy jumps to the nightstand to swallow up a chaos emerald. Bro's hungry. Only for the frog to split, being chased by Big. Finding ourselves in Station Square to help Big look around, I go ahead and turn my Twitch chat display off so that we can maximize our visual space for the rest of this video. But, if you want to know what my chat was saying, or even want to be a part of the chat, make sure to check out my Twitch, link in the description. With our new range of vision, I turn to find THE Sonic the Hedgehog, who seems to be Awful Eggman chatty Eggman taking our Eggman to go. I take another break to talk about the things that truly matter. Guys, one thing that's super depressing. Get the. F I am busy. I am busy. All right, just calm down. Just calm down. Anyways, one thing that I have been really upset about lately. Jack's released a Big the Cat figure, which I have. I have two of actually, but. I'm upset because for his accessory, they gave him three rings instead of giving him a fishing rod, which I get he's a bigger figure, so you don't want to use as much for the accessory, but how are you not going to give Big the Cat his fishing rod? Alright. To then deadlift a car, making me wonder who truly is the strongest Sonic character. I mean, my man picked that sh up like it was nothing. I guess nothing can get between a cat and his frog. Trudging through the sewers, we find ourselves at Twinkle Park, where apparently we get in free since Big and Froggy make such a cute couple. Getting into the level, we are put into a small section of Twinkle Park where we are introduced to the most hated gameplay in this entire series. Big is unlike any character, as you aren't tasked with running to the end of the level. Hell, you don't even really have to explore if you don't want to. Big's gameplay is instead solely based around the game mechanic of fishing. Through each of the levels, Big is tasked with finding Froggy swimming around in some body of water in the stage while using his fishing pole to catch him. This really is about as far as you can get from the standard gameplay of Sonic. Now that alone is enough to get people to hate Big's gameplay, but for many it gets worse when you actually get into the fishing itself. Big's fishing is not the most well explained mechanic in the game, where getting the line in the water is one thing, but once you get a hit, it's another. Once you cast your line, you get into the first phase, catching your target's attention. This part isn't too hard, as you really just need to get your line in front of your target and slowly reel in until you get a bite, or a nibble. Which if they do end up nibbling, all you have to do is jerk your line to the left or right with your analog stick and this will get your hook nice and stuck into whoever was hungry enough to take the bait. The jerking mechanic is kind of important, especially when it comes to froggy, as most fish will straight chomp your lure, even when you don't want them to. Where's where's my frog at? No! Get the f away from me! Just, no, just leave me alone! I don't want you! 
I don't want you! Get away from me! Ah, but when it comes to Froggy, nearly every time he is at the pole, you will have to jerk your rod. <laughs> to actually hook them on. So, all that is pretty easy, but there is one more step that really makes this entire gameplay infamous within the Sonic community, and that's reeling in. Once you got a hit, a meter will appear on the side of your screen, and there's a good amount of people who don't understand how to use it, which really sucks when you realize that if you lose the fish on your line, you also lose a life. Making Big's gameplay very frustrating for those who don't know how to reel their fish in. But what you're supposed to do is keep that meter on the side of your screen from getting completely full. Think of the meter as your line's tension. You want to reel in while you still have some slack, because if you reel in while your line is too tight, then, well... Oh! How did I lose? Now, you may notice on some fish, no matter how much you try and try to reel them in, you have no luck in doing so. Well. Good news for you, it's not entirely your fault. Big has the most upgrades you can acquire in the game. He has two main ones, a floaty device and a special rod that I forgot to get in this playthrough. But he also has a shit ton of lures you can find, some being in Mystic Ruins, on the Egg Carrier, and many other places. Now, these lures are important as another mechanic I haven't mentioned yet is fish weight. The bigger the fish, the more they will weigh, obviously. Which, if you want to do the side objectives for big stages, you'll need to catch these bigger fish, and that's where these lures come in handy, as the more you collect, the easier it becomes to reel in bigger fish. And with that, you are now a professional at Big's gameplay. Congrats on completing my college course on the subject. That'll only cost you your life savings. Or, I can gut you a deal. And you can just subscribe so that you don't miss any of this ostentatious content. Your choice. Get over here. Ah. Uh. What? Why did that not kill him? Die! Oh my- Die! Thank you! So, now that we know how Big's gameplay works, we can get back to the story. Leaving Twinkle Park, my recent Fortnite obsession kicks in when I throw out some heat ideas. I want them to add Big to Fortnite. Imagine Big running you down with the Uzi or a drum gun, big with the drummy would go so hard. After having trouble getting out the door, we are shown the key to Ice Cap, which I completely ignore as I go to the Mystic Ruins. Ah, sh Ah, sh I forgot to get the Ice Cap key. I gotta go back now. Having to turn around to find this key, which took me longer than it should have, seeing that a lot of places have a no fat cat policy. Bitch, let, bitch, let, Bitch, where's this key at? After finally finding the ice key, I make my way to Ice Cap, getting jumped by a stone along the way. Oh, Jesus! Jesus! Big! 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 No! No, Big! Okay, there we go. Getting into the entrance of Ice Cap Zone, we get our first upgrade of a floaty device that allows you to fish while on the water. Getting into the level, I notice something special in the area. I see a soft spot in the water, and just like a baby, I want to push it in. So can we pick this up? Okay, can I like jump on this? Yeah, my fat ass. Hey, it's Froggy! Before I catch Froggy though, I explore Ice Cap. Look how beautiful it all looks. Ice Cap is one of the most beautiful stages when it has the right texturing on it. Like, growing up, I, I kind of just, I just kind of hated um, Ice Cap because it looks so bland, but it is absolutely gorgeous and after getting my fill of the sights i finally catch my little pal only to leave to find tails somehow holding the frog i just caught tails dropping him just to be a dick to big makes us have to travel back to station square where upon arriving back to the city we hit the beach where i find my way into an underwater cave where i just enjoy the scene as i kick back and fish that fish is flat as f look how flat that fish is oh I know it ain't trying to get this bait. Yes. Ooh, got him. I'm gonna get this bitch. If I don't. Yeah, my wifey. Ah! Ah! Okay, I'm just gonna go get that. After thing failing to catch a big fish, I go to try and get froggy until. Come on. No. No. Other way. 
Other way. Don't let him have it. Don't! Stop it! I don't... He's too big. He's too big. Let go! Let go! You're too f***ing fat! I cannot physically do anything right now. So coming back from two losses, I finally catch Froggy. Oh! I just got frog nap. So as Big chases down Gamma to retrieve Froggy again, he ends up finding himself on the egg carrier, where we find a fishing lure and then make our way to Hot Shelter, where we have a bit of a track forward as we pass by the glass Zero busted through in Amy's level, giving nice context clues as to where we are in the story. As we get into the main tank room, Big does the most serial killer look back as he spots Froggy. Draining the tanks, we catch him, just to once again be abducted by the light. As I approach the Emerald Shrine, I ponder the real questions. Do you think Big can use the power of all these emeralds and go super big? He gets super fat. Like, he doesn't change color, he just gains weight when he uses all seven Chaos Emeralds. Only to be interrupted by Takala as she gains the trust of Chaos, learning what the saying her grandmother passed down to her was all about. Transported back to the ship, it starts to rumble and shake as Big fears for their lives if he doesn't find a way off. On our way out, we approach Chaos. Nah, what the hell? Now what the hell is he doing? Excuse me, sir. For Eggman to come in, instructing him to steal the frog and gain his tail back, as well as the Chaos Emerald Froggy swallowed. I will say that Chaos's bone structure sharing resemblance to the Emerald Shrine after collecting a majority of said emeralds is a nice touch that I wanted to bring light on. Though that doesn't matter, as Sonic shows up to help. But only after we get into our last and only boss fight. Big Fishing Froggy out of Chaos 6 ends this boss battle allowing sonic to step in and do some real damage to this beast as he instructs us to make our escape not having a thought behind those eyes except murder and destruction big ends up stealing tail's whip crash landing it in front of his home reunited back with froggy big does what he does best and fishes with his best friend and dances on the graves of those he killed as the credits roll, it gives me time to express my feelings about Big's gameplay. Which I won't say that it's the best thing in the world, because that's just not true. But I'm also not going to sit here and gaslight y'all into thinking it's bad either. Big's gameplay is a fun break from the fast-paced, action-heavy nature of the game, giving you a small area to cast your line and relax. It can be frustrating in the beginning when you don't understand how the mechanics work, which is a fair criticism. But, I mean, we're in 2024, so if I don't understand how something works, I could just look it up online. But, if you were playing back when the internet was new, I'm sure it made Big's gameplay unplayable at the time. But again, it being 2024, and knowing the mechanics, I personally found Big to be a lot of goofy fun. Especially getting to kick back and just joke with my Twitch chat. Oh, I'm the god of fishing! I'm the god of fishing! Yeah, well, that was pretty cool. That was, that was great. I feel like the biggest problem with Big is he just isn't in the right game. People play Sonic games for speed and platforming, neither of which come included with Big's story, making him a huge outlier to the rest of the cast. But I imagine if there was genuinely a Big's Big Fishing Adventure game where the gameplay was better conveyed, it'd be a hit with a lot of people. Imagine a game where you explore hub worlds to find better items to help you catch bigger and more valuable fish that in turn you can sell for upgrades and such, and then getting to see big fishing spots throughout some of the most iconic locations in the Sonic series. I think there's a lot of merit to Big's story, and it just didn't get its fair chance to shine being bogged down by the game it is in. Which, if you'd like me to talk more about Big's Big Fishing Adventure, you should let me know in the comments as I could probably whip up a whole game proposal if you guys are interested in it. But we have more important things to tackle as this journey isn't quite over yet. So let's shift focus as we get into the final story. Uh, which character? <laughs> Even with the Master Emerald returned to its rightful place, we start with the falling of Angel Island only to cut to Eggman as he recounts his hatred for Sonic, interrupted after spotting Chaos. Cutting back to Angel Island, we settle on Knuckles as he tries to make sense of why the island won't return to its rightful place in the sky. As he thinks to ask Sonic for advice, Knuckles notices Eggman passed out drunk in his yard. With Eggman's drunk rambling taking Knuckles' attention, he fails to notice Chaos right next to him. Focusing on Sonic as he kicks back after another one of Eggman's defeats, 
he contemplates taking another vacation, only for Tails to run up worried, wanting us to get down to the now fallen Angel Island. Arriving, we find Knuckles and Eggman lying on the ground after some steamy sex. Eggman, being ashamed of being caught in the act, flees, only for the light to consume us as we're transported to our final vision. Seeing as Takal stands against her people to protect the shrine, but with power consuming the desire of the people, Takal's father jeopardizes her safety as they stampede against all in their path to gain power. Disturbed by the violence, Chaos rises to take action against the tribe using the Emerald's powers. Takal in a panic makes her way to the Master Emerald to beg it to neutralize Chaos, launching Sonic back into the current situation. Fearing the results of Chaos getting a hold of the seventh Emerald, Sonic speeds off in order to find the crash site of the Tornado 2. Arriving at the wreckage of Tails' plane, they find it's too late as Chaos nabs the last Emerald. Acquiring the last gem, we pan to the hustle of the busy city, everyone minding their own business as the water in the sewer starts to move with unease. As the water rushes in, it blows out sewer grates and building windows. Too late for many people as a Taisume washes over the town. In the ruins of the once lively city, we pan up a building as water bursts out many of the windows, only for a huge globular of water to start to take shape, forming into the monstrous face of perfect chaos. Sonic, staring out upon the wreckage, catches sight of Eggman as he tries to subdue chaos, only to get shot down with ease. As Eggman's ship crashes down, he is flung from the city. With this, Sonic is fed up with the monster, ready to deal with him. Just then, Takal reveals herself, expressing that they have been in the Master Emerald the whole time, but as Chaos's heart filled with grief and rage, he broke free from his constraints to lay havoc upon the world once more, unless he can be contained. Sonic is unhappy with this solution, knowing that if Chaos is put back in the Emerald, it won't change how he feels. Trapped, not only in the Emerald, but in his own turmoil. Disheartened, Takal doesn't know any other way until all of Sonic's friends run up to him with the drained Chaos Emeralds in hand. We learn that Chaos only used the negative charge of the Chaos Emeralds, leaving Sonic with the ability to use the positive charge, because apparently the Emeralds work like magnets. Gathering the Emeralds, the town's remaining survivors start cheering on Sonic as he starts to absorb the remaining power from the Emeralds to then turn into Super Sonic. Flying off, our final boss commences. In Super Sonic's boss fight, you need to fly along a path, avoiding Chaos's attacks in order to keep your speed up so that you can charge into him to deal damage. With failing to charge into him with enough speed, restarting you at the beginning of the next section to try again. All the while, you need to focus on your ring gauge as it depletes with time. Because if Sonic fails to collect rings and hits zero, he loses his form where he will be unable to defeat Chaos. Making it through the first phase of Chaos with ease, open your heart kicks in as the stakes raise. Chaos now giving it his all throws tornadoes, laser blasts, and much more at me to slow me down. Troubled at first, I kick it into high gear as I dance around his attacks. One hit left to deliver, I take a fall halfway through, but I trudge on. With no boost pads, I'm left wondering if I have enough energy to make it to the boss's core. But as I burst through the belly of the beast, Super Sonic makes his way up to triumphantly burst through the core. Chaos, now neutralized by Supersonic, is surrounded by a Chow. Takal lets him know that they live in peace with the humans. Chaos, now settled, ascends to the sky with Takal as they vanish. As we pan to all the characters of our journey, Tails ruins the moment. Tails, shut the f up. Look around you. Alright, look at everything around you. Nothing is alright right now. Thousands are dead. Even Sonic's fleeing the scene. And with that, we've reached the end of our adventure. As the credits roll, I reminisce. Damn. Guys, that's it. That's Sonic Adventure. The definitive version. Honestly, it's crazy. This is it. This is the end of the series. This series has done so much for the channel. Like, so much. We were under 200 subscribers. I think when I started the series, I think I was at like 130 subscribers. And now, I'm on the fast track to 1,000. We're sitting at like 613 right now, I believe. It's crazy to think how fast I've grown. 
and just how how much people have enjoyed the series. And I'm a little sad that it's coming to an end, but I, I know that just because this journey's ending, that doesn't mean that there won't be more in the future. And it's only going to get so much better from here. We're only at the beginning of something beautiful, really. So, even though this is the end of the series, there is still so much more to come from this channel. So if you want to join in on this journey and watch as the channel grows and develops, I would appreciate more than anything if you would subscribe. I'm striving to make this my career, to share my voice with all of you, even if I am sick right now. Even in the year's time of my social media presence, I've met so many wonderful people, and getting to know you guys is such an honor. So join the Ostentatious family, and let me be your new favorite. And with that guys, thank you for watching my series, and I will see you next time.